cowboy. And can Tough Edelman ride enough bulls to hold his championship lead? Maybe. This may be the first team to win $200,000 in a single event. And Bud Pauly may come from fourth place to win a world title. This is the National Finals Rodeo, brought to you by Heston Corporation and participating Heston Farm Equipment dealers from across the United States and Canada. It's the richest rodeo in the world. From Thomas and Mac Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, this is the championship round of the 1985 National Finals Rodeo. Howdy, everybody. I'm Hadley Barrett. And I'm Larry Mayhem. You're going to see 120 of the nation's top rodeo cowboys and cowgirls compete for over $1,800,000 in prize money. This is the Super Bowl of rodeo. And we're going to see the top 15 in seven events against some of the best livestock in the world. With that big money at stake, literally all of these championships are up for grabs right here today. Well, I'll tell you, as we know, times have changed. Back in 1959, we had our first national finals rodeo in Dallas, Texas. The go-arounds paid, believe it or not, $220. Back then, grain was worth about $1.50 a bushel. <laughs> 1985, it's worth about $2.85 a bushel, something around that mark. And the go-arounds pay over $8,000. The farmers are having a lot more trouble than the rodeo cowboys. And today, you will see the world's best rodeo cowboys and cowgirls competing for some big bucks. Well, bareback riding is our first contest, but before we go to the championship round, let's take a look at some of the competition in our previous rounds at the 1985 National Finals in bareback riding. There's been some big money winners and a few problems for some old hands. Like Bruce Ford, this man gets on over 300 broncs a year and seldom misses a horse out of the chute. So far this week, he's missed two. This is a tough rodeo. This guy is one of the hottest young bareback riders around. He is Clint Corey. He may break that $100,000 barrier here. But you know, that might only be good for second place. That's because of this man, Louis Field. He could also be the first rough stock rider to win the coveted all-around championship title since the famous Larry Mahan. We'll be right back with bareback riding after this. There's a lot going on down at your Heston Farm Equipment Dealer. Backed by Fiat, the eighth largest manufacturing company in the world, Heston has the growing power vital for tomorrow's agriculture. That's why Heston can now offer a full range of products. In the bareback riding, as we open the final round of the 85 National Finals Rodeo, it's going to be a tight race. It looks like it's coming down to Louis Field and Clint Corey. We have some long shots coming in, but J.C. Trujillo is going to lead us off here. He has drawn a good horse, Larry Mahan, sipping velvet of the Johnson string. This is a good one. One of the top bareback horses in the business squatting down in the front end. It's going to be extremely important that he gets him standing properly. The spur out rule, feet over the point of the shoulders, touching the animal when the front feet touch the ground. J.C. Trujillo, the past world's champion, having a lot of problems here on a very stout bareback horse. Whoa, jerked the rigging out of his hand after the whistle. I was talking to J.C. earlier before the rodeo, and he said, you know, he said, this might be the last time they see me compete at the national finals. He did make the whistle on possibly his last horse ever here at the big one. Well, that is a rank horse indeed. We have joining us on the arena floor to keep us updated, Mr. Johnny Macbeth. John, we started hot, didn't we? We sure did, Hadley. NFR electricity is in the air everywhere with a big score for J.C. of 78 points. We've got it started. Started right. All right, John, thank you. And we go to the veteran Bruce Ford, Kersey, Colorado man, four-time champ of the world. And, uh, well, again, we're looking at some of the best stock in the world. This is a horse that belongs to Del Hall. Well, Bruce has a great style. He's taller than a lot of the bareback riders. Again, the feet come up the neck to the rigging. The feet go back into the cinch area. It's going to cost him a few points. If they buck off before the whistle or touch him with the free hand, it's a no score. And again, the spur out rule must be complied with. Watch his feet. Watch the toes. See if they're turned out. See if the spurs are touching the animals. We can clearly see by that instant replay the method in which our officials will evaluate the scores. It is half for the performance of the cowboy, and you've seen him using his feet there on that replay. The other half goes to the credit of the horse. It was 73, the score for Bruce Ford, 7-3. Gary Hempstead, 
Up next, Anderson, California Cowboy. Here is a rank horse that he's on today. He's had this horse on two previous occasions. He said he missed him out one year, a few years ago at the intercollegiate finals. Rode him one time in Lethbridge, Alberta, Canada. Did not win any money. He's had to borrow a rigging. They broke his rigging here the other day. A horse ran up into the front chute, hooked the rigging on the side of the chute, and tore it apart. These men have to have a lot of confidence in their own equipment. He said he started using this rigging on the sixth go-around. Horse bucked him off, but he said he feels confident now that he can hang on to it. Whoa, obviously he could not. It didn't work. Now, old three cheers has caused problems for bareback riders before about trying to keep a hold of that rigging. That handhold on the rigging, the only thing that keeps them in there for a score, and this man has had a little trouble with his rigging. He has been riding well, however, this week, and uh, Hempstead's not going to come out all that bad in this year's finals with over 13,000 won. Well, here's a young man, David Appleton from Australia originally. Rareback rider, bronc rider, a good, tough hand. Whoa, boy, I'll tell you, now there was a rank, rank bareback horse jerked him down over that front end. That boy has a young attitude. I asked him earlier about the rodeo in Vegas. He said, I like it. I like the weather. I can play golf when I'm not riding. He's been on this horse three, four times in the past. Bucked him off one time. Well, the horse classic velvet, mighty tough, and uh, Appleton walking back. We're going to need him back in the bronc riding because he has qualified in two events, and he scores a 76 ride this afternoon. Well, what a position. What a dismount. This is Larry Peabody. He won the championship last year. Montana man. A horse called Happy Trails of the Vela Rodeo Company. Watch this man pull his speed up there. Great style, timing, coordination, balance, strength, attitude. You have to have the right attitude. Our in-house audience.